Hey y'all, Caleb here. So in today's video, um, I'm going to show you how to map a custom domain to your blob storage website. So uh, we're using um, the blob website I created um, and used in uh, some of the other videos. Um, and the first thing you're going to need is the URL for your uh, blob website. And there are two ways to, to get this. Uh, one is if you're in Visual Studio Code and, and you've used the uh, Azure Storage Extension, you can right click on um, your blog and browse to static website. And uh, you'll, see, you'll see the website name there. Uh, the other way to, to get it is to log into Azure and uh, go to your storage account and uh, locate properties and scroll all the way down to the bottom. And you'll see um, the static website uh, here. It's, it's the same one as the one we got to from Visual Studio. So uh, this is what we need. So we're just going to copy this. And then the next step um, is to go uh, to wherever you, you have your custom domain uh, registered at. Uh, for me, that's GoDaddy. Uh, I have a number of domains there. Um, so you're going to want to go to that, that website, log in. Um, and they typically have an area for uh, each domain where you can manage the DNS for that domain. Uh, for, uh, for this one, I'm, I'm using uh, my calebseedwells.com uh, domain. And what you're going to want to look for is a C name that is www. Uh, if you don't have one, you'll need to create one. Uh, but since I have one, we're going to go edit it. And we're going to replace this, the at symbol with the actual URL, um, removing the uh, HTTPS um, and if there's a, a, a forward slash at the end, that as well. We just want the URL. And we're going to click Save. Okay. Um, now that TTL is time to live, and uh, this one hour um, isn't always one hour. You know, sometimes it can uh, take just a few minutes for the domain to propagate. Um, other times it can take um, you know, a couple of hours. Um, it really depends. The next thing we want to do to to uh, finish connecting our custom domain to our blob storage is you want to go find um, the custom domain item. And uh, for your domain name, you want to put in www. whatever your domain is. Uh, keep in mind, um, Azure currently doesn't have the ability to do uh, root domains. So, so for this, this would not work. It, it, you have to have the www in front of it or some domain, but www is the normal one. So now that we've got that in, we're going to click save. Okay. And so now we're, we're done with, with linking up the, the custom domain to our storage website. Um, you know, you, you may be wondering, well, when is my DNS going to propagate? How's it going to work? Um, there are a bunch of websites out there where actually you can test and track whether, whether they've been connected or not. Um, so uh, this one's uh, DNS propagation. And uh, make sure you put the www in the front and select the CNAME item and then click start. And what it's going to do is it's basically going to hit a bunch of different places around the world um, and see if, uh, if they've been matched up. And you'll see that there's a bunch here where they have been matched up. It is actually referencing the blob storage URL um, on a bunch of these. Some of these is timed out, which means it hasn't been propagated yet. But considering it's only been a few minutes, um, that's not a big deal, right? So, so now we want to actually go to calebcwells.com. Um, and uh, one of the things that you might run into here um, because, as you, as you see, this is not secure. This is HTTPS. One of the things you might run into is, uh, for instance, if you um, do just HTTP, either on this URL or on the custom domain, you might get this error code that's, that says it requires HTTPS. Uh, if you get this error, there's a quick fix for that. Uh, we're going to go back into our Azure Storage account, 
and we're going to uh, look for configuration. So you click on configuration, and um, in most cases, this will be enabled. This is secure transfer required. Um, and you can read the details, but right, it's basically just saying, hey, we want to be um, as secure or protective as possible. Uh, if you're having issues, you can disable this. So you disable it and click save. And it says it's successfully updated. It may take a few minutes, but there you go. Um, huh? It actually did HTTPS. Let's try to go HTTP. Okay. So with HTTP, it still says it's not secure, um, but it loaded uh, without issue. So um, do that if you are having a problem with your custom domain uh, not loading correctly. Um, and uh, so that, that should do it for this video. Um, if you have any uh, questions or comments, please uh, leave them below. And um, I hope you all have a great day. Bye, y'all.